Louise here from Hayes Garden World. Um, this morning I'm going to show you how to make a small patio pond. Great for relaxation and to bring wildlife to your garden. So in my earlier video I showed you how to make a pond marginal basket. So we're going to use that now in this little pond. So there's a couple of uh, tricks. Number one, you'll need some empty uh, planting baskets. They're going to act as a little booster for us. So they go in just into the bottom and then the marginal basket that we made earlier can sit on top of it. Most marginal plants don't like to be fully submerged. They really only like to get their toes wet. So where that is now, when we fill it up, that's going to be perfect for them. Now we want to push it right to the edge as far as we can. Um, and next what we're going to do is we're going to make a frog or newt ladder. So obviously we're hoping that this is going to bring some wildlife into the garden. Um, so if they do come in, we want them to be able to get out. So, a couple of large rocks. And all you need to do is just bank them up around the back, making some little steps for them. So anything that comes in is going to be able to find its way out again. This is a brilliant plant as well. You may know it is a uh, creeping jenny. You quite often use it in hanging baskets, but again, it's quite good um, in ponds as a marginal. Now, what you can do with this is if you actually tuck it in with your other marginals, you can have, as it starts to grow, it'll start trailing down over the back of your barrel. Um, so again, your frogs and newts, they're gonna come up on your pebbles, and then they'll be able to make their way out, in and out, as they please. That's the frogs and newts sorted. Um, I've also got a little lily, uh, I've gone for a white flower, loads to choose from, personal taste, entirely up to you. So lilies can go straight down onto the bottom in a size like this, where it's not too big. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to chop the uh, label off so we don't see that. Hold on to the label just in case you ever want to know what it was called or for any care instructions. So we'll keep a hold of that. Um, as those leaves come up, you'll find that um, lots of things like to bask underneath the leaves. So again, it's wonderful for wildlife. Lastly, we've got some of your standard pond oxygenators. So these are the easiest thing in the whole garden to plant. They come leaded. And all you need to do is just drop them wherever you want them. You'll find that they sprout little um, roots off and they very soon start growing a lot larger. Um, if they do start taking over the pond, you can uh, cut it back quite brutally, put it on the compost heap. So I'm gonna dot a couple of these in here as well. Uh, newts and toads love laying spawn in that, so they're a brilliant one to include. Now, lastly, because I want this to be relaxing as well, um, I've got a really nice little mini um, pond pump. It's a tiny one, it's only 450 litres an hour, um, telescopic fountain head on it. So all I'm going to do is pop that right in the front and that's just going to give us a nice little feature and that sound of running water. Um, so that's everything in, now all we need to do is fill it. So I'm just going to use the hose pipe to fill it. You don't want it coming through too fast because it'll disrupt all of the compost. So nice steady trickle and I can leave that to fill while I go and get a cup of tea. So all that's left to do now is to get the pond plumbing and time to enjoy your patio pond.